Hey, I hope you're having a great day. Let, let's get right into uh, Philippians chapter 2. Uh, we're going to look at uh, two verses today, 12 and 13. Paul says, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Imagine if we did that. Imagine if our life was about obeying God. Do we even think that way anymore? Do we ever look at what we're going to do the rest of this day or, or tomorrow or next week? Or we look at, we plot out our year and it is, is the main thing to obey him. To say, okay, God, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to be? What do you want me to be about? Now we're like, okay, what's my schedule? What do I have to do for my job? Um, I got to keep my boss happy. I got to keep my customers happy. I got to keep my my teachers happy. I got to keep the other kids at school happy and and all of that. And I think that's the problem. We're worried about everything else other than the one who matters the most, and that's God. That's what this passage is trying to say. That's what we've been trying to say all week, to fear the Lord, like trust Him. Like look to Him, look at who He is. Now Paul in this passage, right, he, there's this like, there's such a warm tone here, if I could use that uh, phrase, like he's saying, my, my beloved, like he, he's, he's really, he's not talking down to them, he's not trying to blast them. He's like, look, I, I, I want you to have this amazing life. And um, he goes, I know you obey God in my presence. Like you're doing the Lord's will when I'm there. And I'm kind of counting on you to be doing it when I'm not there. Uh, that's the definition of integrity. That's how God wants us to live. Like, like regardless of who's watching, we are serving him. Because you know he sees it all and he knows it all. And he wants us to succeed. And, and, and success means we trust him. We love him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We love our neighbor as ourselves. We trust in Jesus, we trust in forgiveness, and we bring that forgiveness to other people. That's life. That's life. And so we work out our own salvation with fear and trouble. In other words, we live this thing out. We, we, we put it into action in a way that we don't take it lightly. That's, that's the whole point, I think. Like we, we realize what's at stake. We realize who He is and we realize the magnitude of this and the privilege that we have, the honor to serve Him that we have. Like we're, we're, I've said it a, a couple times this week. We just stand back and we're like, whoa, so I get to serve you? Like I get to show the world what this salvation is. I get to deal with sin in my life and, and, and right, and take those moral inventories and, and, and look at that and, and see how I'm serving and, and, and grow and read scripture and pray and do all those things and with a sense of fear and trembling. Wow. And to think that God is working, not just in the world, right? Not just in other people's lives, but look at this. He says, it is God who works in you both to will, right, to give you the, the desire to serve him and to work for his good pleasure. That, that is incredible. He's changing our hearts. Because I know sometimes we just don't feel like it. We don't feel like serving. We were like, man, I, I want to live for myself. And, and, and we can take that to God. Say, Lord, I don't want that attitude in my life. I want to serve you. I want to do your will. And, and, and Lord, help me to see what that is. Help, help me to understand that and to have the courage to stand up and to move forward and go in the direction you want me to go and do the things that you want me to do. Because you're working in me. Let that sink in today. Just take some time today and say to yourself, God is working in me so that I might will and, then, and he's working that I might do his work. Those things that please him. That's incredible. What a beautiful process that we get to be a part of. So please, please, just take some time. Slow down today. Slow down this weekend. And just think about God working in you.
What does that look like? Let's share that with each other, man. Hit, do that. Let us know in the comments how he's working in your life. Or what's he doing in your heart? What are some of the things that you see happening around you? Hit that subscribe button. Share this with somebody, right? Someone needs to hear, be encouraged, and they need to know that God wants to work in their life too. And maybe they just don't notice what he's doing. And then we can help them to see that. How cool is that? All right, so we'll talk to you next time.